though the architectures of the next Xbox and PlayStation both resemble that of PCs, several development sources have told us that Sony's solution is preferable when it comes to leveraging power. Studios working with the next-gen Xbox are currently being forced to work with only approved development libraries, while Sony is encouraging coders to get closer to the metal of its box. Hmm. So basically, Sony is, you know, explaining what the PlayStation 4 is all about and what it can do, I guess, you know. Furthermore, the operating system overhead of Microsoft's next console is more impressive than Sony's equivalent, giving the PlayStation badge unit another advantage. Hmm. Oh, it's funny like this. It's funny like this. Unlike Nintendo, Microsoft is continuing to invest heavily in motion control interfaces. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's really, it seems like Nintendo gave up, and Microsoft gonna capitalize on that. If you take it, Microsoft gonna take that um, motion control market. <laughs> Microsoft love to make that money, man. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, by reading this, the PlayStation Four could be the next lead platformer. The next lead um, development platform. You know how Xbox was last gen, uh, this current gen. Yeah, the PlayStation 4 would be lead platform. That's what it sounds like from reading this um, this paragraph. But yeah, this um, the link to this whole the link to the whole article will be in the description. Uh, it's based off his um, Edge's new. Um, let me let me show you. Let me show you. Edge. Yeah, Edge's new article, the next Xbox always online, no second-hand games, 50 gigabyte Blu-ray discs, and new connect. Yeah, y'all check it out and leave comments. Now you're okay, you Yeah.